Fire Nation, JLD here, and welcome to episode 2001 of Entrepreneurs on Fire. This is the first episode on the new format, which is the Audio Masterclass, where every single Monday, I'm going to bring you an audio masterclass from an incredible guest where we do a real deep dive into their area of expertise or just their incredible life story and journey, but really going deep, really going for high, high quality. And then on Thursdays, we're going to have a lot of fun where I'll be doing a JLD rant or a Q&A show where I actually call you on Skype and let you ask me any question you have. I've already done a ton of those. They're in the queue in the hopper and they are a blast. But this is the new Entrepreneurs on Fire. If you want to hear more, episode 1971, we talked about this transition. Just the last episode, episode 2000 was the first episode where I really kind of get into a deep dive on all of this as well. So definitely check out episode 2000 and episode 1971. But today, we're going to be talking with an incredible guest. Her name is Lisa Sasevich. And the reason why I'm bringing her on is because Fire Nation, today's world is super loud. It's super busy. And if you're looking to grow a business on fire, if you're looking to be that entrepreneur on fire, you have to have an offer that breaks above the noise, an offer that is irresistible. And that's exactly why Lisa is here today, because we're going to dive into an audio masterclass on how you can create an irresistible offer that is an irresistible offer. I'm going to be taking notes. I can't wait. I highly recommend if you're able to right now, this is only if you're able to, go ahead and press pause, head over to eofire.com slash Lisa because she has an incredible PDF waiting for you called How to Sell Without Being Salesy in Seven Steps. This is the blueprint we'll be following today. So if you have that and you can print it out and have it with you or just up on your computer, it will make following along a lot more easy today. But if you're not in a situation, you can do that. No big deal deal. You can just do it later. But if you can, eofire.com slash Lisa. And we're also going to be talking about a super awesome offer on this interview today where I'm going to speak at Lisa's event, Speak to Sell, which is going to take place May 17th through the 19th in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So if you want to come spend time with myself, with hundreds of other amazing entrepreneurs and see Lisa on stage and just rock her irresistible offer talk and go through an entire three-day deep dive sequence on you engineering and creating your irresistible offer. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be delivering a 90-minute talk from stage, which is going to be so much fun as well. I'm going to be there the whole time hanging out. I'd love to see you there. And the process for you to get there with the Fire Nation special is eofire.com slash Lisa, because once you grab that PDF, you'll get the special Fire Nation offer for that conference in Fort Lauderdale, May 17th to 19th. Hope to see you there. But without any further ado, let's bring Lisa on. Again, Lisa's energy is awesome. I really just love her dearly because she has been doing great things for a very long time. So Lisa, welcome to Entrepreneurs on Fire and talk to us about offers. What is our offer? How do we inspire people to actually take action on our offer? You know, the the offer is really where the transformation happens. Like if you're out there in the world, whether you are a service professional, a coach, an expert, whatever it is that you are doing um, as an entrepreneur on fire, you know, there's a point where you are going to make an invitation. So, you know, we can, we can use that word interchangeably, your offer, your invitation. Some people call it a call to action. And if there's one thing I've come to know, you know, being someone that both is an entrepreneur and, you know, a child of personal development, personal growth, it's that when I look back at all of my own transformation, be it in business, you know, rising up to being an Inc. 500 company, all of those good things, number 20 in women-owned businesses, I have to say, mm. woohoo, um, <laughs> all that, you know, or, or whether it's been my personal life, you know, raising my kids, having their breakthroughs and the great things that happen, every breakthrough, everything that was like really that kind of thing, I would look back and say, thank God I did that stretch, you know, it was preceded by a decision. And decisions get made at the other end of an offer or an invitation. So if we're out there doing our work and we want to make a difference in the world and we want to make great money doing it, the number one thing we have to do is be super clear on 
what is our offer and how can we inspire those people we were meant to serve, our ideal client, to be, have what they need to say yes on the spot. Do you know, like when that possibility opens of your offer, your invitation, and you can feel it, you can see it in your ideal client's eyes, not everybody's eyes, but those people you were meant to help, you can feel it, right? There's a frequency. So what can we structure? This is all about structure. What can we structure in to give that person what they need to be able to step in and say, yes, I, I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to have this transformation. So, you know, summary I really believe that all transformation is preceded by a decision and the offer, especially making it an irresistible offer, what we're going to get into today is really, you know, us as change agents being responsible that we are hitting the markers for, you know, that person we're meant to help to be able to kind of flip their own switch and make a decision. So hopefully Fire Nation, you're following along in the PDF that Lisa has so kindly provided us. You know, I, I mentioned it in the intro. If you go to eofire.com slash Lisa, you can just sign up, print out, or just have there right on your computer the blueprint, the PDF that we're going to be following along here today about creating your irresistible offers. It's just going to help you get your thoughts down on paper and just really make things happen. Because what are you really selling? Like, have you ever honestly asked yourself that question? Have you ever really sat down and said, what is our offer at the core and how do we inspire our listeners, our audience, you know, people who might want this, how do we inspire them to take that step, to actually step forward into light and say, yes, this is for me. Now, Lisa, I want to move into these three secrets to making a truly irresistible offer because, again, as we mentioned earlier, if it's not irresistible, it's just not going to be obvious enough that's going to make a step forward in this loud, loud world that we live in, Fire Nation. So for you, Lisa, you've definitely become the person who understands how to create that irresistible offer. What are those three secrets? I, I really appreciate that you um, mentioned the blueprint, the irresistible offer blueprint early here, because this is really where we're going to track along with that blueprint and what I'm saying. So it's great that you guys have that access. So thank you for that. Um, I'll tell you, you know, when you asked me, what are you really selling? And this ties perfectly to your next question about the secrets to making an offer. So there are three. And the first piece, first, the first piece is actually answering that question. What are you really selling? So the first piece is about the offer. And then piece number two and three, which we'll get into, those are how to make that offer irresistible. So they kind of stack on top of each other. So number one, you know, what are you really selling? I want to address this first as the first piece of starting to build an offer that really is irresistible to your ideal client. And it's so common, you know, um, we've had the, the privilege of, I've coached the best of the best in every industry for the last 10 years. Like whether it was the health space, coaching the JJ Virgins and the Bulletproof Dave Asprey coffee people, you know, or on the uh, online marketing side, the Frank Kearns, the Ryan Levesque, the, you know, amazing Jeff Walkers of the world. Um, I mean, really all the way through Brian Tracy, like it's amazing the people that we've been able to contribute this to. Um, and I'll tell you almost across the board, when we first asked this question that you brought up, what are you selling? The first thing people think about is what would all call the delivery. They'll say, well, it's a three day workshop or it is a 10, you know, session in office, 90 day appointment thing. You know, uh, you come into my chiropractic office, you know, every week for 90 days or, you know, they'll they'll say it's an online course. And it's amazing because there's like 42 hours of training and I've interviewed, you know, a thousand people over the last 10 years included. So they'll bust into that side. And that's the number one thing I want to convey here first out is that that's not what you're selling. You know, what you are selling is you are selling an outcome. You are selling a transformation. So when we take tackle number one of the three secrets, the first thing is getting really clear on what I'm going to call, and you can jot this down and then you'll see it when you download the blueprint, your main dish. So you've got to be really clear. What is the main dish of what I'm selling? And that main dish actually has two components to it. It's got 
the, the piece that people usually think of, which is this is how I deliver it. It's a workshop. It's a service. It's a training. It's a coaching. It's my expertise. It's my book. Right. Um, or maybe what you're selling, your call to action is a qualified appointment. It's the chance to come in my office or get on the phone and meet with me one on one. So that might be the first step that you are inviting. So it could be any of those things. But the other piece of the main dish that is so often forgotten, even by the pros, um, is the transformation or the outcome. And here's a little equation I want you guys to jot down as well. This is actually a quick review from when I was on with you a year or so ago. But I want to get everybody up to speed here. I want you to write this equation down. 90-10. And we, you know, 90%, 10%. And next to the 90%, I want you to write outcome or transformation, whatever word you resonate with best. And next to the 10%, I want you to write service delivery. So step one is secret in making your offer truly irresistible is this is my main dish. This is the main way I deliver the outcome. And when you communicate about it, this is where the 90-10 comes in. It's 90% of your energy, 90% of your words, 90% of your presentation, your copy, your brochure. I don't care the form, but 90% is about the outcome or the transformation. And 10% <laughs> is about, oh, and this is how we deliver it. You come into my office every week or, you know, you're coming out to a five-day retreat in Bali, whatever it is. But that is 10% of the equation of, of your question. What are you really selling? Or better yet, what are they really buying? I'll give you a, a way to grasp this that is just sort of like what I keep in my head before any time I'm going to make a presentation, um, you know, whether it be one on one or, uh, you know, actually speaking to make my offer. And here it is. They are buying the destination, not the plane. You keep that in mind, that 90-10 equation, right? They are buying the destination, not the plane. And once you insert this, this is part of the mindset piece, you're going to go out there and you're going to see people are giving all this value. You'll hear it on podcasts. You'll see it on stages. You'll get it in one-on-one -on -one presentations or, or conversations where it's time. They've, they've, they've had this great deep conversation with you or given you great content or value. And then why does it feel like they switch into a salesperson? Because all of a sudden we switch into all the delivery instead of sticking with this is the outcome. This is the transformation. This is the destination. Oh, and by the way, this is the kind of plane we take to get you there. And the best way to test this is look at your own last purchases. You know, the last time you invested in yourself, were you buying 10 sessions of coaching or were you buying this outcome of, you know, be it having a better body and, and feeling healthier and stronger at the gym or, you know, having a business breakthrough? Make sense? It makes so much sense to me. And I kind of want to do a little bit of a recap. And then Lisa, maybe you can do kind of the final recap on just this section and really take it home because Fire Nation, I'm taking down notes, hopefully right alongside with you, because a huge mistake people make is that when they're thinking about the offer, they're thinking about stuff like the delivery, et cetera, et cetera. No, you are selling an outcome. You are selling a transformation. This is the main dish. And it's that 90% transformation and the 10%, that's the service delivery. So Fire Nation, to wrap up that last point, the analogy that Lisa made that I love so much it's not about the plane. It's about the destination. People don't care how they get there. They just want to get there. So Lisa, take up my little summation, wrap it up in a bow and take it home. Okay. So that was number one. Again, you know, main dish is number one. We're going to be that. That's really the offer. So the main dish equals, if you want to write it like a math equation for our summation, the main dish or your offer equals the transformation you provide plus the service delivery, 90-10. That's the summation. What I want to move into next is limiters and how to use them. You know, for, for you, Fire Nation, maybe you're like, what is limiters? I know that a lot of language that we've been seeing over the years is urgency and scarcity. And those are actually two words that I've just never loved for pretty obvious reasons. But I really do love this word limiters. But what they are, Fire Nation, is like, you know, today only or the first 10 people. How do you use those type of limiters, Lisa, in an authentic way so that your clients, your potential customers are really going to appreciate how you're using that? I love the question and I love talking about limiters because limiters are the number one thing that people often forget 
And when you forget to put a limiter like, hey, this offer is just good today, or, you know, I've got enough um, appointments to talk to the first six people who book, right? When you use an authentic limiter, and I'm going to talk more about how to make it authentic and feel good, um, you know, it, it serves. People appreciate it. So there's two kinds of limiters. There is the time limiter, like today only or till the end of the month or by Friday, you know, or sometimes you see online, um, you know, if this offer is just in front of you right now. We call that an OTO, a one time offer on for those of you in the online marketing side. Um, so limiters time, anything that puts a limit on when the offer is available and then quantity would be something like the first 10 people, the first thousand people, sometimes the quantity limiter, for example, when we have an event, you know, we know our room holds 500 people. That is a right. very authentic and true quantity limiter, right? So, so that's the first thing to, to, to note is that there are two main kinds of limiters you're going to play with and you can use them alone or in combination that is time and quantity. Okay. Now to take that deeper, now we're, you know, we're really getting into the master part of the master class. Why do people hesitate to use limiters? You know, it's the thing that scares us that we're going to sound like a salesperson, that we're going to, you know, we have this great connection with someone. And then if we say, you know, I have this special bonus or great pricing or something additional I can do, if you're ready to get started right here on this appointment, we get afraid of that because that is, you know, the opposite of what we don't want to come off having this great connection. And then the person goes like, ooh, and then they tried to, you know, slam me closed at the end. So here is the magic. This is the master part of the master class. I want you to write this word down and then we'll feel into it together, show you some examples. The word is justify. And this is pulled right out of a body of work we have called speak to sell. So our speak to sell formula is used, you know, in every industry for people to be able to make a presentation and then make their offer. And part of the formula is how do you get that offer out of your mouth without feeling salesy? Like have it be your favorite part, actually, because, you know, that's where the contribution happens. So one of the secrets of the speak to sell formula is justify your limiter. So if I tell you, hey, this offer is good only today or only on this podcast while you're listening, and I don't tell you why, what does your brain automatically make up? You know, whether you like me or don't, whether you're a positive person or a negative person, it's nothing to do with that. It's just if I don't tell you why it's a limited time offer, then what happens is, you know, the obvious. I just want your money. <laughs> you know, I'm limiting it. That's what you would think. And for most of us, that is about the worst, and me included, like the worst uh, misunderstanding about who I am and why I do what I do. It's painful. And I know it's painful for you too when you're out there to make a difference. And and some, if, if you use a limiter and it makes somebody think all you care about is their money. And that that is the fear. So if you authentically justify why there is a limiter, then people get it. Like, if I speak and I'm at a um, uh, an event where there's the host has something happening, like I speak and then there's a break where people who want to work further with me can do can sign up to do that, and then the host has something else happening, I authentically tell people, "Hey, we're going to take a 20 minute break. I've got this special offer for you guys that want to get started with me, and then you know your host has a whole rest of the lineup for today. So I don't want you to be preoccupied with this later today." We're going to pause. You can ask me any questions you need. We've got a special offer to make it super easy for you to jump in if this is right for you. And then the train is leaving the station because your host has other plans for you this afternoon. That is true. That is authentic. People appreciate it. And it doesn't just feel like, you know, I want to close, close the sale. I mean, I do want as many people as, you know, as we can help to do our work. But I also want to honor the space that I'm in. And... When people's mind are open, when you have created a possibility, when they can see something new for themselves, be it, um, a, you know, the relationship could be better. They could make more money. They could have more, you know, improved health. When they're in that moment of connecting to that possibility, the limiter serves to have, help them say yes while that's open. Because you guys know how it is. You get so inspired. 
uh, you know, like just every day listening to your podcast, you know, so inspiring. But if you walk away without putting some kind of structure in, if there's something that you hear that you want to move forward, then you're off to the races with the rest of your day. And, you know, that thing you wrote down on a sticky note somewhere, it just disappears. <laughs> you know? So summary, possibility disappears. You have got to support people in taking action while it's open, while their mind and heart and, and vision is open. And limiters are the thing that does that. And when you use a time or quantity limiter and you justify why you're doing it, then people understand that and you won't feel hesitant feeling like, oh, God, this is the sales part. You'll really have the experience that you're coming from service. So Fire Nation, think about those types of limiters, the time limiters, the quantity limiters, and just make sure you're authentically explaining why there is a limiter. Like that's just going to sit so much better with the audience when you're just being honest, genuine, and authentic and explaining why this limiter is in place. And I love that phrase, you know, possibility disappears. Like to me, that's just a great phrase, Fire Nation. Really hope that you absorb that. And Lisa, I kind of want to go a little off track here because there's something that I jotted down. I have no idea like what your thoughts are on this. I'm just personally curious. You know, yeah. you mentioned like a couple of reasons why people don't like to use limiters. Something that popped up in my mind when you were saying that was that people don't like using limiters like when they're on calls or on stage or when they're, you know, in person, whatever it might be. Because they don't want to hear no. Like they're afraid of, hey, if I use a limiter and I say that you have to make a decision now, that person might say no. And we're just like scared to hear no. And, and for whatever reason, I know a lot of us, we need to get over that. But like, what are your thoughts on that? Is there any truth to the fact that people are scared to hear no? So that's why they just like, yeah, let's just leave it open. And then if you decide later, it's awesome. If you don't, whatever. But if we don't put that limiter in, then we're not forcing that answer. and We might not get that terrifying word, no. I so love you for bringing that up. Can I just jump through the line and give you a big <laughs> hug? Um, <laughs> really, you know, here's the thing. So many of us are doing the work that we do um, because it's there's a mission in it, right? Like it's personal. We're connected to wanting to make a difference. And, you know, some of us are not doing that kind of work, but we want to transition into that kind of work. And I'll tell you, I sold millions of dollars back in my corporate days for Pfizer Pharmaceuticals, uh, Hewlett Packard. It was easy, uh, you know, because it, it, it wasn't that personal. It was the nine to five thing I did. I had a structure. But the first time I got out there with something I cared about, <laughs> you know, like this, because I care so much. I see people doing, you know, it just pains me to see all the things entrepreneurs do to try to be out there and be known and attract their ideal client. But if you don't nail your offer, then, you know, most likely you feel like you're doing a lot of work and not getting the results that you know are waiting. This is the key to having everything else you do pay. So as far as hearing the no, when you're doing work that you care about, and especially take it to the next level, your own work, something you've created, it's your coaching, your system, your, um, your, your practice, all of a sudden that yes or no, exactly what you said, it feels personal. It feels personal. And what I love about having an offer is that, you know, especially an irresistible offer, is that it all of a sudden, instead of pursuing business, when you use a limiter, you are inviting pursuit, right? When you have really hit all the markers that we outline, you know, in the presentation, we teach that in our speak to sell formula that leads to your irresistible offer. Cause you can't just make your offer like on a corner, right? It's got, something's got to lead to it. You've got to have a, a presentation and something that gets you there. When you hit all the markers and you make that offer, um, you know, you would be inviting the pursuit of your ideal client and having the limiter supports them in being able to make a decision. And, you know, it's not really about getting them to yes, like if we really want to take it down, you know, to the masterclass level, it's not about getting a yes. It's really about getting a decision. If you want to support, you know, the, the, the folks who need you, you structure your presentation. That's, 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 that's my love. That's our specialty. So that you give people what they need to get to yes or no. So when people make a decision, as we talked about earlier, that's when transformation happens. And here's a secret. Even if it's no, 
if you really hit all the markers that they would need to decide and they decide no, that is a service. That is a service for someone who's been walking around saying, I really need to do something about my cholesterol. And then you say, you know, I've got this live disease free program. That's one of my clients, uh, you know, businesses. And, uh, and you know, you, we, you could have that, you could have that transformation. And then they decide, you know what, I know I've been complaining about this, but no, you know, it's not enough of a priority for me to make the investment of time or money. That's transformation. That is a person that may not have been taking personal responsibility for that state of their cholesterol, let's say, suddenly realizing that, it's a, that they're at a, they have a choice. So I, I believe this. I believe that it is a disservice not to make your offer. That it's a disservice not to make your offer because when you make your offer, then that other person and you structure the mark, you know, you hit the markers that, that people really need to make a decision then there's a truing up. They say yes, you know, and boom, you're dancing. They're in a new world. You're getting to help them. They say no, there's honesty there, right? They, they, it was either no, they don't want that transformation or maybe it's no to working with you for it. And guess what? Everybody's freed up now. They can go find the person that's going to help them. You are not following up to ad nauseum. You know, the, you, you, everybody's free. So I love your question. Thank you. Fire Nation, can you hear Lisa's passion? I mean, the passion that she has for her products, for her services, for the communities that she has built, for, you know, the products and services that her clients have created. I mean, that ripple effect is super special as well. And before we take a quick break here to thank our sponsors, let me just share with you one thing. You, Fire Nation, have an obligation to get your products and your services in front of the right people. You have that obligation because you will change their lives with your product, with your service, with your community, whatever it is you're going to create because it's special and it's awesome. And we're going to be right back. We're going to be talking about a number of things. We're going to kick things off talking about bonuses when we get back from thanking our sponsors. If you're an e-commerce marketer who is having a difficult time understanding the direct ROI of your marketing campaigns, I get it. It can be frustrating. The good news is if you can put your already existing data to work in order to make more meaningful interactions happen with your customers, then you will win. How do you do that? With Clavio. Clavio helps e-commerce marketers save time and make more money through super targeted, highly relevant email and advertising campaigns. The best part is that there's no need to hire an army of developers to access and translate your data for you. All you have to do is integrate your store with Clavio's and then then it will bring together all of your data in one place, making it easy for you to create campaigns that drive results. That's why thousands of e-commerce companies use Clavio to increase their sales. And right now you can sign up for free at Clavio.com. That's K-L-A-V-I-Y-O dot com. Fire Nation, keep your business running on all cylinders, regardless of whether you're in the office, in your car, out running errands, or at your kid's soccer game with Grasshopper, the entrepreneur's phone system. If you are an entrepreneur, a small business owner, or even if you have a side gig, Grasshopper lets you run your business from your cell phone. All you have to do is choose a local toll-free or vanity toll-free number, and then start forwarding your Grasshopper number to your mobile phone. Grasshopper's iPhone and Android apps help you stay connected to your customers no matter where you are. With Grasshopper, you can send and receive calls and texts from your business phone number, set up multiple extensions for everyone on your team, get your voicemails transcribed and emailed to you, and make and receive calls from your computer via the desktop app. Better yet, Grasshopper offers an easy and instant setup and 24-7 customer support, all without any long-term contracts. Grasshopper, sign up today. Visit grasshopper.com slash fire to get $20 off your first month. That's grasshopper.com slash fire. So Lisa, we are back and we've been talking about a lot. And I know Fire Nation that if you've been to eofire.com slash Lisa and you picked up the completely free PDF on how to sell without being salesy in just seven steps, that blueprint, you're going to be able to walk 
along with us today and nothing is going to go over your head. You're going to get so much more out of this. Maybe you listen to this two or three times to really get your irresistible offer down because this next step is going to be all about bonuses. So if you need to press pause, go to eofire.com slash Lisa, pick up that incredible gift and let's get on with the show. So Lisa, what is hot and what is not in today's market when it comes to bonuses? I love this question too. So, you know, we talked earlier about the three secrets to making an offer truly irresistible. I want to make sure you're all tracking with us. The first secret was, you know, know your, your offer and that is your main dish. Number one, um, number two, and three, actually, you know, you can put them in either order. We talked about limiters. So the third one we're going to talk about is bonuses. And that that's the, the three secrets are out of the bag. You've got to be able to distinguish your main dish, your bonuses, and your limiters. And so, so that is the secret sauce. When you want to make an offer that really is irresistible, you want to use that as the litmus test. Like, does it, is my main dish super clear? Uh, you know, do they know the, the destination, you know, and I mentioned the plane in the 90, 10 percentage that we talked about, um, you know, is the limiter clear? Do they really get that it's on this phone call or during this appointment or today only, or, you know, sometimes in corporate, it's by the end of the month. If they, you know, if they have that meeting and accept that contract and get their deposit in before the end of the month, you'll, you'll be booking your flights and you'd be happy to book an extra half day, you know, onto the, uh, the initial offer to train their team. You know, it's a $10,000 extra half day to train their team if they can make a decision before the end of the month. That's an example of a limiter and a bonus. And, um, and all of a sudden, it's also an example of what we talked about. You invite pursuit. You would be shocked on the corporate side how quickly um, those, those meetings that weren't going to happen for the, till the next quarter suddenly have an impromptu gathering <laughs> when that bonus <laughs> is on the table. And, you know, it's very authentic. Hey, you know, my EA books all my flights the last week of the month for the next month. It's coming up. If you guys know you want to do this, let's get it settled and I will stay and do that extra training with your team. It's that easy. And people that that's just a, you know, flat out example of using a bonus and a limiter. Now, diving into bonuses a little further, what's hot and what's not when it comes to bonuses? <laughs> um, because let's let's face it, you know, we've all seen things like, you know, if you go to this link, there's only 27 copies of my ebook. Right? <laughs> not hot. Right? Not hot. Thank you. Yes. Can you, you can do, you can be the judge here. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. might get some so, wrong. Yeah, so I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah. So, so don't do that. Um, but you know, genuinely, for example, um, we have our speak to sell, for example, at the, at the, at the time of, uh, of, of this, uh, interview here and in this masterclass, we have our speak to sell, grow your business boot camp coming up. It's, you know, it's, it's in Florida. It's in May 17th through 19th. There's a couple of, I want you to see the bonuses and limiters that are natural, right? We have a natural quantity limiter that it's been selling out every year since 2009. And you know, the, there, we can fit so many people in the room. So that is a natural limiter that you want to use. And a bonus, we have JLD in the house. Well, I was going to tell, I was going to let you let the cat out of the bag. You want to <laughs> tell him? You want to tell him what we're doing? <laughs> well, I'm pretty fired up because I've heard nothing but these amazing things about your events. I mean, being sold out since 2009, you know, that's coming up on 10 straight years. That's just incredible. So when you gave me the opportunity to come to your events, you know, here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, you know, it's just a nice little two hour direct flight from Puerto Rico. I said, man, I am absolutely clearing the schedule, making things happen. Uh, my parents actually get into town May 8th and they're here through the 18th. I would let them know, hey guys, I'm leaving a day early. Here's the keys to the house. You got it. And uh, find your way to the airport because I'm speaking at Speak to Sell 2018. I'm pretty fired up. I love that you're coming, you know, really to be with all of us, yeah. to be with our tribe. Like you're not I'm flying all. in and flying out. You're there all three days. You know, you're you're working on your own speak to sell talk and offer. I'm always working on mine too, because it is the heart of really being able to cause the transformation that we want to pro provide in the world. So yeah, JLD is going to be there teaching podcasting. I'm going to be there teaching you how to nail your offer and the speak to sell talk or presentation that leads to it. 
it. Um, the networking's incredible. I mean, we're so stoked to have you. I can't even tell you. <laughs> so, and, 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 you know, there's, we're talking about limiters here. I mean, obviously we've been selling out for all these years, but with you coming, that's probably going to happen a lot faster. Um, with, when then we let the cat out of the bag this week. Uh, and I will tell you, you guys, uh, this is a little special thing to look for. When you go to eofire.com forward slash Lisa, assuming you do it quickly and we haven't sold out, um, what you're going to do is you put your name and email there to get the Irresistible Offer Blueprint. It'll ask you a couple questions about uh, where you are. You know, you brand new entrepreneur. Have you been at it a while? Are you transitioning, you know, maybe out of something you don't love into something you love? So you click that box, you enter your name and email. And here's the thing I want to make sure you see. Right on that page that thanks you, it is going to make a special invitation really from JLD and me to come and join us at the Speak to Sell Grow Your Business Bootcamp, to come there and be part of our tribe for three days, to nail down your offer. So the things that we're continuing to talk about here, we're going to take it to the next level. Um, and more importantly, it's really about having that presentation that leads to your offer. So whether you're making your offer, you know, in your own office or you want to get out there and just, you know, speak locally or or some of you are flying around already speaking and you want that to lead to being able to make your offer, imagine this, to more than one person at a time. We call it leveraged selling. So if you've been dreaming about doing webinars, you need a speak to sell talk and an offer. If you want to pick up the phone and do teleseminars, if you want to be interviewed on podcasts, right, you've got to have that presentation and you've got to know your offer. So this is a chance to really handle all of that in just three days with both of us as your mentor. And you're going to see that invitation um, and you'll have an opportunity to it, it's kind of crazy, but really you can thank a John Lee Dumas for this. I squeeze you pretty hard on that. I'm like, Lisa, listen, if I'm going to bring you <laughs> on to give an audio masterclass, you know, obviously the free PDF of how to sell without being salesy in seven steps is going to be a great gift. You know, I'm excited to be going and speaking at this event. I mean, it's going to be an absolute blast. Networking is going to be incredible. I'm going to be literally the first person there. And Lisa, like, you don't know it yet, but you're literally going to be like, John, will you please leave like when it's time to go? Because I'll be probably the last person there as well. That's just that's just how I operate these events. I mean, I don't get off the island of Puerto Rico very often. I do a few times a year. But when I do, I really make the most of it. So I'm fired up. I am all in. And I said, Lisa, I really want Fire Nation to be there. Anybody who can possibly make this event. And I know that, you know, these tickets, you know, sell for thousands of dollars. In fact, you know, right before the event, I know it's, the tickets are like $3,000 for this three-day experience. But Fire Nation, the, the reality is you're going to walk away with an irresistible offer that when you go on a podcast, when you go on a webinar, when you're doing a Facebook Live, now you have that irresistible offer and it's going to change everything about your business. But Lisa, of course... I did not squeeze you down to $3,000. I said, we got to do something for Fire Nation here. So I'll let you take it from here. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, even our early bird to like our own you know, following, um, the very, very early bird, like the people that just they're waiting for it to open is $497, right? And that is for the person that's kind of like, it's like, you know, waiting, waiting for those concert tickets to go on sale. <laughs> and they're right there. Um, what you're going to see when you go to eofire.com forward slash Lisa, after you, you know, opt in and you get yourself the irresistible offer blueprint, as long as we haven't sold out yet, you're going to see a video invitation inviting you to attend as our guest, um, really as an EO fire, uh, you know, just as an entrepreneur on fire for just $197. <laughs> I acted surprised, but I knew that. That was fun. That was fun. Can we do that again? I'm going to say it again. Ready? For just $197. What? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's, ba yeah, what? It's basically a materials fee. I mean, it's just, you right. know, you get this workbook with the formula and any time that you are asked to give a presentation or some of you, you want to start using your lobby or that unused conference room to start having intro events, um, you know, you're going to have the training and you're going to have, you know, the amazing materials that we provide, um, you know, and, and mostly what's going to, you know, what, what it's about is being confident and ready to make your offer in any situation. And when you have that, 
you really are an entrepreneur on fire. <laughs> wow. I just love how you just close that button, that loop right there. And I mean, Fire Nation, you heard it from Lisa. I mean, the event for her early bird, just for her audience, early birds, 497, the tickets, you know, when the event's almost happening are $3,000 for those three days, you know, as, as the supply and demand gets down to it. But you, as long as it's not sold out, Fire Nation, you can just go to eofire.com slash Lisa and you can get that ticket and join us for the entire weekend, all three days experience for $197. So I think that that's a great example of a bonus, Lisa. This is why it's a perfect thing to talk about right now during this uh, session. Our minds are just melding here today. And, uh, <laughs> and and that's what happens. You know, you come out to be with our community and we really create that master mind, you know, and you'll see structures, how other people are doing their bonuses, their limiters, their talks. You'll see businesses like yours, but with completely, you know, amazing structures that have set the entrepreneur into motion and set them free. Mm -hmm. Really, we're about, you know, our podcast, by the way, just to give you guys a sense of what I'm committed to. And if you're not already subscribed, you know, please come on over and join us. But it's called Boost Your Sales and Lifestyle. And, you know, so, so I'm not just about the sales part. Uh, you know, I, I have started this business when my kids were a newborn and a three year old. I've been running it from home ever since. And it's about, you know, lifestyle, making a difference and you know, making great money doing it. So yeah, boost your sales and lifestyle with Lisa Sasevich. Come on over to iTunes and subscribe. And, uh, you know, you'll get a lot leading up to the event, get to know each other better. So let me, let me tie in the bonuses and limiters. Yeah. Uh, you teed me off so well here. So let's just <laughs> use this as a real life example. I mean, if I'm not using it in my own business, what am I doing? Um, and it's going to be, you know, so fun to, to see you come and speak and teach about podcasting and how we can tie all that together too. Um, so bonuses and limiters. First of all, just being here today, you know, there is the bonus of getting the Irresistible Offer Blueprint. So thank you for investing in yourself with your time here. Um, and there's a limiter because the offer to join us at Speak to Sell Grow Your Business Bootcamp, it, it, it is just going to disappear once it's full. So, the, you know, the limiter is the quantity of people that can come. Now, there is another cool time limiter that I, I want to tell you guys about. The sooner you grab your ticket, what happens is, we actually send you some pre court pre um, pre boot camp accelerator training. So the minute you grab your ticket, you you know go ahead, you get your one hundred and ninety seven dollars in there. All of a sudden, you get invited to some coaching calls and you receive some pre course training. The first piece is is called how to find the words to say what you do. Ooh. We call it offer communication. So when you get registered, the minute you get your ticket to the event. In your inbox, you're already off to the races with, with a transformation of how to communicate your offer powerfully. We want to blow you away before you even get to the event. Now, I want you to notice what I'm saying, okay, because I'm saying to you what's real, but I'm also, it's kind of meta. I'm modeling for you what you want to do. You want to blow your people away, like with the first thing they get, you make an offer. We don't want to just hand someone a receipt. We're not just going to be like, here's the receipt. We'll see you May 17th in Florida, right? No, we want to get you started. We want you to be like, oh my God, if this is what I can do in this 30 minute exercise that Lisa sent me when I registered, you know, I've been, I hear from entrepreneurs all the time, like the biggest pain is how do I say what I do so that like my mother-in-law understands, you know what I mean? <laughs> A lot of us have businesses that our own family members don't even really understand what we do. But what if you had the words? So we get you going with that. We invite you onto some pre-calls where you can jump on or, you know, you can listen to the recordings and get you ready to show up at the Speak to Sell Grow Your Business Bootcamp. That is all part of the inspiration of making it an irresistible offer a lot of people, as you guys know, like to wait till the last minute. We'll see if there's space. I'll book it the day before. But with that limiter, you're missing out if you do that. You're missing, you know, a $500 pre-course coaching and training series that the sooner you register for the event, the sooner you get to start enjoying. So, you know, bonus limiter, all mushed together, making that an irresistible offer. There it is in play right there. 
What I love about this Fire Nation is that the sooner you jump on opportunities like this, the the more you're going to get out of it. I mean, you're going to be able to get on these calls, get the recordings, engage with Lisa, engage with her team, engage with other people that are going to be there. So by the time you get to this event, you've already made friends. You've already probably had, you probably are already going to have lunch plans with a few people before you even get to that event. And that's what it's all about, just to make the most of these incredible three days. So I mean... Lisa, we've talked about the main dish, knowing your offer. We've talked about limiters, time limiters, quantity limiters. We've talked about bonuses. I love those two words that you used, invite pursuit. So critical, so key. I kind of want to start to wrap up this conversation, this audio masterclass with something that I really feel like is important based on what you and I talked about right before the sponsorship spots because, you know, something to me like that being scared of saying no or hearing the word no, I should say, is so big for a lot of people. So how do we inspire an on-the-spot yes from our ideal clients? And we don't want to be pushy. We don't want to be salesy, but we just, we, we want and we need that on-the-spot yes because that's when people make decisions. So how do we do that? The on the spot, yes, and 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 we revealed here, you know, taking it a layer a layer deeper as a master class. It's 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 even beyond that. We want that on the spot decision, right? Because we really get that if a person makes a decision, yes or no, we have been of service that day, and you know, we're all free to keep moving. So, how do you inspire that decision without being pushy or salesy? And you know, we've talked about the offer today, and you can certainly go out and use what you learned here, you know, right away. As we can't even post our testimonials we get on our website, some of them, because they sound unbelievable. (laughs) People are like, you know, I listened to the first module of your training and had a 3000% increase in sales. We're like, we can't, but, but really when you start putting these things in, it is ridiculous. The amount of transformation you can have with your sales conversion. So this is about structure, how to inspire the on the spot. Yes. It's, it's not about having some kind of a sales script, but the other side of it is not about winging it. And so many of us, you know, we have a lot of clients in the health and wellness space and the spiritual side, you know, all the way through like hardcore corporate sales. And, you know, we have a lot of clients that are like, I'll just know I like to connect with the person and I download what they need, you know, (laughs) from from the upstairs team. And like all of that is great. But if you have a structure that is going to lead up to making your offer, that is the, the structure gives you freedom. Structure gives you freedom, meaning it gives you the freedom to know I'm hitting the markers. And so now I can just be authentic. I can be generous. I can be courageous. I can really go to the wall with people for, you know, my vision for them. I can hear about theirs because I have the structure. And so in our world, the structure, the way, what we call that structure is we call it the speak to self formula. And, you know, to give you a little peek of some of the things that are important. I remember a day early on in my, my career here in this, uh, you know, in, in this, this, this 10 year business that I've had, um, and, and just been such a blessing really. Um, when, when my cell phone rang and it was Les Brown, you know, and, and Les Brown is this famous speaker who's made such a difference for so many people in case you haven't run into Les Brown. But, um, you know, for me, it was like, oh, my God, Les Brown is calling me. <laughs> I think he was referred by like uh, an, an online marketer that was helping. I can't remember if it was Jeff Walker or Frank Kern. But nonetheless, Les Brown was calling me. And uh, he says, Lisa, can I send you the last 10 minutes of my offer? That's, that's a really <laughs> <You know? laughs> good Les Brown right there. I seriously can't believe I just did that. But <laughs> <laughs> um, so th- that, that was my whole Les Brown imitation. I'm okay. not going to try to do it any better. But, <laughs> I, you know, and and he said, can I send you the last 10 minutes? Because, you know, it just it, it I thought I had people in the palm of my hand and they were, you know, I thought I just have all these yeses and it didn't it didn't convert, didn't fly. And I said, Les, first off, I can't even believe you're calling me. I'm so honored. You've made such a difference for so many people. And here's the thing. I don't want to see the last 10 minutes of your presentation. I want to see the first 10. And he's like, girl, now I see why they say you're the queen of sales conversion. You got it instantly. <laughs> because, so this is, this is, you know, how do you inspire that on the spot? Yes, without being salesy, that decision, you structure from the beginning. Mm. Everything is, here's the words, you ready for it? Masterclass level, everything is reverse engineered. So that's what we're going to be doing at the Speak to Sell Grow Your Business Bootcamp is like 
How do you, for example, make that first 10 minutes of your webinar or your podcast interview or your live presentation or that phone call? How do you position yourself, you know, position the person you're talking to, the audience so that they know they're in the right place? How do you position that an offer is coming so that it doesn't feel like a bait and switch? You know, there's actually five things that you need to position in that first 10 minutes for your last 10 minutes to be what you want it to be. So the answer is structure. Structure gives you freedom to be yourself, to have fun, you know, and to sell a ton (laughs) all along the way. (laughs) Structure. And that's really what we're offering when you come out and you join JLD and I um, live in Florida. So stoked to, to, to have you get your hands on this structure that you can use online, offline, and really, you know, now we've worked with over 15,000 clients in 134 countries. So we know it works internationally, you know, all the things people think. My clients are movie stars. My clients are spiritual. My clients don't speak English. You know, this, uh, we've, we've been able to test it all, you know, now after, you know, millions and millions of dollars of sales and, and so many clients so widespread. And the structure holds water and it's going to hold water for you. Fire Nation, I have some chills thinking about that Les Brown conversation. I mean, I was incredibly honored to follow him on stage at Thrive just this past year in Las Vegas. It was an incredible opportunity to kick back on a couch with him and just have a conversation. He's just such a funny, awesome dude. And I love that phrase, Lisa. Everything is reverse engineered because Fire Nation, there are five things to position in your first 10 minutes to make your offer work at the end. Just remember and make that happen. And if you do end up joining us at Speak to Sell here in May in Fort Lauderdale, um, please come up and say hi to me before the talk start, in the middle during the breaks, during lunch, at night when we're having some cocktails and having some fun. But don't come say hi to me during the sessions because I'm going to be taking notes. I'm going to be sitting down writing my irresistible offer. I can't wait to learn, learn, learn from Lisa and the incredible content that she's put together that, you know, that since 2009 has been working for so many people at these events that she's been hosting. I just can't wait. And I hope to see you there as well. So it's eofire.com slash Lisa Get that free PDF we've been talking about this entire episode. And also join us, if you can, for $197 for three full days to make your irresistible offer actually irresistible. May 17th through the 19th in Fort Lauderdale. Get over there. I can't wait to make it happen. Lisa, why don't you take it home with maybe anything you kind of want to wrap this chat up with, maybe a parting piece of guidance, and then we'll say goodbye. I appreciate that so much. And really, we're taking Speak to Sell, Grow Your Business Live Bootcamp to a whole new level because right, what you're doing and what you have contributed to the world of podcasting um, and people being able to get out there with their message, you know, it's just what we're also about with people being able to get out there with their talk and their offer. So for everybody to be able to come out and get that in one place, um, I, I'm just, you know, it's like that is chills. And, uh, and you know, I, I would say, you know, just to, to kind of bring it home on the, there's something something so important to me and that is congruence. You know, if we are out there and we are saying, you know, Hey, I've got this great offer and we're doing the work to have people say yes, you know, to, to support people in making a decision that will be transformational for them. You know, the thing I'm always working on with myself is, am I being that, Do you know, am I put you know, seeing an opportunity for myself, stepping into the possibility And then saying, yes, am I making decisions? Am I taking action? And I noticed some years back, actually, it's a little vulnerable to share this, but here I was teaching everyone to make offers. And then an offer would come to me that I knew was right for me. I could feel it. You know, I didn't need any more information. I didn't need to call five friends and get an opinion, but I was actually, you know, delaying decision on offers that were coming at me. And When I saw the man in the mirror, right? You want a transformation, look at the man in the mirror. When I saw that here I teach this and I was hoeing and humming, I was sleeping on it. I was asking other people's opinion about what I should do. When I transformed that a few years back, we took our biggest leaps. 
So whatever your business is, whatever you're teaching, whatever you're doing, two things. Number one, make sure that you are being the client that you want to attract. You know, you want to have a business breakthrough. If you're teaching health and you've fallen off the health wagon, get back on before I see you in May. You know, that is one of the biggest things you can do to pop your offer. And then the next layer, when it comes to inspiring on the spot yeses, make sure that you're saying yes on the spot, right? Because you're looking for that. Let's create what I call business karma. So I made that change. My business jumped to the next level. And I offer you to just check that out. You know, how are you receiving offers and what kind of breakthrough can you have? And then see if that's reflected in how your offer is received by the people you serve. Well, Fire Nation, there you have it. An absolute mic drop by Lisa Sasevich. Definitely hope that you've gone to eofire.com slash Lisa to grab your free PDF. Hope to see some of you in Fort Lauderdale, May 17th through the 19th. It's going to be an incredible three days guaranteed to be game-changing, life-changing, business-changing. And as always, Fire Nation, if you're interested in starting a podcast, why don't you go to freepodcastcourse.com and you can start your free podcast in just 15 days. It's a completely free course. I poured my heart and my soul and you'll learn how to create, grow, and monetize your very own podcast. So you can start interviewing awesome people, going on rants, talking about things that really matter to you, freepodcastcourse.com. And I'll catch you there, Fire Nation, or I'll catch you on the flip side. Keep your business running on all cylinders, regardless of whether you're in your office, in your car, out running errands, or at your kid's soccer game with Grasshopper, the entrepreneur's phone system. Grasshopper lets you send and receive calls and texts from your new business phone number so you can run your business from anywhere. Grasshopper, sign up today. Visit grasshopper.com slash fire to get $20 off your first month. That's grasshopper.com slash fire.